previously on the Hidden Hedgehog's Amazing Paintball Stories. I did some running. I made some bad decisions. Oh shit, he can see me. I did some dancing mid-game. And I attempt to take on a dangerous player. Welcome to the second episode of Memoirs of a Paintball Sniper. Come on, give me something to aim at. Give me something to aim at. I'm waiting for him to make a mistake. Yeah, exactly. Well, there you go. he's coming out. Yeah, three, two, one. Yeah. Oh, God, I felt the air off that one. That was almost a good shot. So it seems like that, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get that one, Skills. I think you're going to have a better chance of getting him. All right. They might have a beat on you. Keep down a little bit lower. I'm Straight look ahead. Through, through this gap? Yeah. Oh yes, oh yes. Ahead, he's poised, me. like a coiled cobra. But what he doesn't realize, is it against a nice sneaky hedgehog. And I've got my brother Skills here with me. Unbeatable force. But now, you can't see this, but there is some long players in the distance. But the problem I've got is that I can't really come out of cover comfortably. I'm relying on just my knees to lift me up. That's not something I can do. Well, I could do it, but getting a steady shot, um, my crosshairs is all over the place. So you know on Call of Duty, when you've run, and you're running, and then you go to snipe someone, your scope's like <laughs> That's basically what's happening to me right now. So I'm gonna move back and see how we're doing around this corner. Those players are way too close for me to be effective. So I relocate to get a better angle. Being on a busy field like this is very difficult for a sniper. All the barricades have multiple players on them and it's hard to find a good FFP. Uh, where is he? There he is. I'm going to move around to this left here so I can get a right-handed shot on this guy. Whoa, was that a shot? On my backpack. Can anyone see a shot on my backpack? Clean. Don't get this no bounces count. I mean, I like it right now because obviously I'm still in the game, but. It's alright. Okay. Oh, that was in the goggles! <laughs> yes! Right. Three left in this mag. Two lucky shots against players that didn't know there was a sniper here. With my cover blown, I will be lucky to hit any more from this position. This is really not a good position for me anymore. There are too many players, I'm in a very awkward stance, and the enemy team know my exact position. There is no way that I can apply myself effectively in this position. Oh, this is a very, very tough stance I'm doing here. And this guy's got his marker pointing straight at me. And if it wasn't for me, dodging these rounds, oh! Uh, I think I maybe push back a little bit. Oh shit, that was close. A player has just told me that there is a sniper on our right hand side and we cannot move up and that I should move around there immediately. Right, I'm gonna retreat back this way. I'm gonna try that right hand side again. Here we go. I relocate to our right hand side to start hunting the sniper. What I didn't know is that he's doing the same thing and taking out many of our players as we attempt to move up. This is Jug the Sniper. Hey, I took down the sniper! I start 
start advancing on the right hand side, looking for any indication of the sniper. I have no idea. I'm already being watched. My first priority is of course to try and get a visual of the target. I can't shoot what I can't see. A near miss, but I managed to get a quick glimpse of where it came from. We're both aiming directly at each other. I took the shot and eliminated the target with a headshot. Please tell me that was Jug the Sniper. Is that Jug? It was Jug! I can see it because of my scope cam. <laughs> Sorry Jug. Sorry. Oh, I'm going to move away from this. With the Sniper down, it allows me to move up slightly. Can't see nothing! On our right! On our right! On our right! He's gone! He's gone! He's gone as well. That's two down. <sighs> oh, okay, so they've spotted me now. There is a guy. Uh, see, I see the glint off his scope then. So, I know he's aiming at me. Yeah, Alright then guys, I'm going to leave it because I'm going to be pushing up further. And so, thanks for joining me guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next story. Take it easy. Big thanks to Death Element for filming this documentary, and also Jug the Sniper for sending me his point of view on my headshot. Thanks for everyone for watching, and I will see you all in the next story. Please subscribe and stay hidden.